Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here to bring you another Company of Heroes 2 commentary. This week it's a 4v4 on the map Steps. My teammates include uh, Nerdstar, Kevin, and Alonso, Gennaro, which I'll just call L. Then on the enemy team we have Ollie, which you'll be seeing a lot of, Static, uh, Global, and... was it? Um, oh, Solaris. Anyway... Um, I will say this from the get-go, just to let you guys know, uh, both one person on my team, I believe it is, let's see, if I look, it's, uh, I was gonna say it on here, I think it's L, yeah, Elantro, and I think on their team it's Globin, they both, uh, lag out, yep, it's Elantro, but still this, I'm not gonna show you this map unless I thought it was really entertaining and um, awesome, which it is, it turns out to be really good. But, uh, here, I'll show you a reason why in a second. Anyway, guys are currently moving on both sides. Um, usually, I, again, I was in the southern point right here. And like always, Mount Infantry Company, MG, Grenadiers. So, uh, the I hate being down here because everyone goes for the, the southern point. I don't mind going for the southern point. It just is more difficult. And I don't mean difficult as in, like... It's more difficult to take it. It's just more difficult simply because of the fact a lot more of the... Usually the enemy rushes down here. But because I think the enemy was... No, it was Solarius. Solarius, instead of hanging for the south, actually took this fuel point. And he took it way before us. I mean, that was surprising. So he rushed that. Ollie, instead, was given uh, the go-ahead to take the south. I don't know why he would do that, because usually... You know, this guy, Solaris, would take the south. Unless they're a team, which would make sense, or at least they know some of them know each other. Which would explain why they would just, you know, randomly choose to go for the other. So anyway, I'm down here. I tell my engineers to take this point. My MG's moving up. I'll put them in the trees and tell my engineer to capture this while I'm behind heavy cover. Yes. Move my, my, my uh, grenadiers. I'm sorry, those are pioneers, my bad. My grenadiers to take this point, and my other grenadier squad is hanging down to secure the star. Now, Ollie, poor Ollie, um, he's sending his engineers in to secure this point, and they'll come in. He's also bringing in a sniper. Right in the center, our MGs are keeping him off the hill, but they're also keeping them in control of this fuel point. Up north, um, what is this? Uh, Static, he's doing a great job. He's moving a bunch of conscripts and MGs to counteract the assault grandiers. And uh, up north, the AI is currently heading up and taking these uh, star points. We didn't really push up to the north. It was really just these points we pushed. So anyway, as you can see here, my MG is currently keeping their uh, engineers down. However, they have a sniper. What they don't realize is my guys on the left. Oh, that was perfect timing. I, I, that could not have come any better. It's coming in the flank. I think I'm going to... Yep, it does. Boom! And I use both my engineers and these to flank and outgun the sniper, which is going to utterly destroy him. And with that, they have to retreat, which is going to secure my victory in the south for some time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure up defensive points, but I'm going to try to send most of my forces up north, because as you can see... Uh, okay, we just took that back. That's good to know. But for a good chunk of the time, the enemy controlled the north. So, there's no point in me having a bunch of units sit around and do nothing. Uh, that's what a lot of people do. They'll just sit, literally. They'll have a bunch of units sit around here with AT guns or whatnot and just guard this point. You're not helping anyone if you just guard this point. That's a tip you can, I guess, take. But, uh... I'll also show you a tip how to fight large amounts of infantry, but I'll show you that later. Anyway, the enemy team is doing a great job, and they are pushing up. They have all the way to our point here, which is, I guess if we look both ways, I have this point, I'll soon take this point. So they have, like, a direct line into our base, and we have a direct line into their base. But again, we, neither of us can push because we don't have the resources yet. You never want to go for an attack on a base too early, because you, it, it, you could literally risk everything, and then it could utterly fail. So, just a little tip. Because if you send out, let's say, a bunch of tanks, like, let's say if that guy from Soviet Industry sent all the tanks in that, that base and lost all of them, I then have to guard against their entire enemy team, which it could still be on the field, and then instead of while that we're in their base, like, taking everything we have. So we lose all of our guys, and then while trying to rebuild it, we have less resources. 
Anyway, he's sitting in this giant group of conscripts, and I'll show you why. So that was just hilarious. He has the uh, guard's rifle, which pretty much is the con, which has this conscript assault package, pretty much allowing them to have PPSHs. For my team, we have the mechanized assault, which is a tiger, spirit doctrine, Jaeger tree, and I'm going to also do the uh, assault support doctrine. So anyway, they're going to try to counter. Oh, the AI is, and like, oh, bring in a scout car. Easily able to counter. Luckily, I have my MG here, which is perfect to make sure they can't come around this way. But I'm also bringing back these guys. I'm going to do a nice little Panzerfaust. I also have these guys here putting up another bunker. That way, I have a bunker here, bunker there, and also have an MG right here, perfectly hidden in the trees. Nice spot. So that way, I have this entire area all the way up to this point. Um, secured that way they can't get through and also have a mortar so when they get pinned I can destroy them a lot easier they have uh, the regulars coming around but uh that was for they, the reason they didn't get fired upon was because just my was out of sight but still um, they are doing a nice little assault here burning away his MG I'm moving my guys here to do a nice little counter action do a flank they are they have units all the way to here which is a bad sign if they take out these fuel points, I, I, and the munitions point, I don't know why that's there. If they start taking that out, that's pretty bad. But luckily, I have my guys stationed here, just out of the... Wow, okay, wrong way. Oh, they took that from us, okay. Anyway, trying to do a counterattack so I can fire behind them and also at their incoming units. Try to, you know, nice flank, while behind this nice heavy uh, medium cover. Luckily, our entire team is setting this up as a forward HQ position with, like, regeneration bunkers and healing bunkers, stuff like that. By regeneration, I mean, like, command points so you can spend some money and just re, uh, resupply them with man manpower. Anyway, down in the south, they are trying to push back, but my MGs are just going to tear them apart along with my mortar. Up north, I did do a nice flanking position and come around from behind to take out the, uh, their units. They had a mortar right here. What I'm also going to do is also, where is it? Ah, secure this point, that way you can get the fuel back. Yeah, so, you know, I'm doing pretty good. They do have a good chunk of the north, pretty much under their control, but, you know, as soon as we get some tanks, we'll push up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm making a bunker, and I'm going to make a um, mechanized support company. So support armor corps, my bad. To help secure that area. My NG is currently keeping them back, and I'll send in reinforcements to secure that point and beyond as soon as I can. I don't, yeah, but taking that point is just like, you know, one more like, just in your face. Because, you know, they can now not easily put fuel or whatever they need. It's just, you know, a bonus for us. So anyway, the AI, um, yeah, this AI, yeah, he, he's trying to make a push here. Wow, that was a, that was a, oh wow, that was very visceral. I didn't even notice the enemy put mines down. That's, well, smart. Good for them. Good for them. Is that mine? I think that is mine. Yeah, th those are mines. Son of a gun. And you would ne- You can't even see that. Wow, he just got destroyed. Anyway, I got more guys here. Secured that point. I'll screw this point with the guys uh, eventually. But I figured, why not take this section? That way I can just, you know, make them focus on me and send more troops down to me. Instead of having them send more reinforcements up to the north and just really start bogging us down. So anyway, right now they're retreating. We put some more bear units and we captured this point, which is fantastic. They are sending in, um, oh, what is this? A penal battalion with a flamethrower. These are really good units to help push... And our guys are right now just building up forces right here until a, a, a more concentrated assault can be done. But as you can see here, uh, Solaris is just like spamming. I don't want to say spamming, but he's effectively using the PPSHs and pretty much all of like the conscripts' native abilities, like the grenades, the Molotov, stuff like that. And pretty much has like the best conscripts you can possibly get, in my opinion. Like, these are pretty much good against any type of infantry, light vehicles, even medium, they can knock out the engine and make it, like, a pain to go through. So he's doing a really good job at securing that point. Right now, it's now a fight for the center. The AI is just playing up a small fight, but, yeah, he's gonna retreat. 
they have nothing up the north, so of course this guy, who is this? Kevin's just gonna come, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's just gonna come around, come around through here and just easily take him out. But unfortunately, I don't care if you have assault grenadiers, these guys with uh, PPSH is gonna tear you to smithereens. Now, I am building a tank, 10 minute roll, that's where you should have it. Um, I'm rehealing my guys, and wow, okay. AI is using that to heal his units too. Good to know I helped out. Try to have these guys secure this point, but they had a ton of infantry, and I'm just like, oh no. You know, um, but luckily my MGs are here, and they are still supporting. Wow, that tree is on fire. Wow. Must have been from the flamethrowers. But yeah, they are pushing right now. And they're pushing with a lot of forces. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the giant conscript squad just destroyed his assault grenadiers. They also have some light armor moving in, but I have some medium armor moving in. So we'll see how that goes for him. Anyway, let's knock off. That light tank is just going to destroy our guys because we have no anti-tank guns. Take it out, or at least none, no one close by. Or it's this is pretty much just Mortar Hill. Luckily, the AI is doing a great job at least keeping that, them back so they have to retreat. And wow, okay, he's doing a flank position. Back over here, I move in my Panzer, does a nice shot on the tank. And look at look how big that thing is compared to the other one. That's just massive. But just making him retreat along with these guys. And I'm going to try to flank up here with that guy and flank up here with my tank. Hopefully knocking him out. Hopefully. They tried to move in here again. But unfortunately, my guys were just too strong and I was able to secure that point. Yeah, that, that was just terrible. <laughs> so, uh, that's what Ollie's going to constantly do. He's just going to send these infantry squads against my MGs. That's something you don't do. Flank. Get armor. Help your teammates. If you can't take this area, help the guys up north. But, right now they don't need any help. Because right now they're doing a really good job of just, like, holding us back and giving us trouble. Uh, right now, again, they have the entire north under their control. They have AT guns in support. That AT gun is really well placed. Look at that. It's just hitting the trees. Hard for us to see. They're healing. They have nice mortar groups inside behind the trees. They're, just, they're putting up a great position here. But we're doing so as well. We're bringing out a lot of forces, as you can see. Even a panther to help secure this point. Luckily, they, the, those, these things blew out my engine with their uh, anti-tank grenades. Wow, okay. There goes the uh, scout car. But anyway, we did secure that point, and, uh, well, uh, now they're taking it back, and at least we're trying to hold it down with a bunch of tanks. I don't want to move this up, because I know they have AT guns, so I'm just, like, keeping it back, and just, if they attack me, until I get this thing repaired. Luckily, uh, what is this, Static? Was that Static? No, Nerd, my bad. I'm static keeping on our team. No, let's see. Enemy team, what am I saying? Anyway. He's at least healing my guys, which, you know, very helpful. Teamwork, thank you. They're not just pushing here, they're also pushing down south of regulars and conscripts. That's very bad, because we really have no effective MGs, at least in that section. Down the south, I'm doing a nice push, where I'm just securing that. I'm going to Panzerfaust this and try to take it out, but you know. They also bring it, oh my god, so as soon as I see this thing come in range, I'm like... Panzerfaust this. Oh no, wait, Panzerfaust this. But unfortunately, he gets taken down, so I just have to retreat. They do this pan they do the art rocket artillery thing, but maybe I'm just lucky, maybe it's two stars, maybe the trees, but they just don't hit me. They just don't hit me. So up north, it's a large battle going on with a bunch of AT and MG guns keeping us back. As we try to push their forces out and hold. But they're using the uh, field guns like artillery ability just to hit us from long range. I move this thing up just trying to hold them back because I figure I can knock out that MG which could move up some infantry and take out the AT guns. You have to have take out one to help the other. I mean... Yeah, their constant rocket strikes are just going to start tearing us apart. 
I mean, there pretty much goes the building. Oh, wow, he's very lucky. That guy is very lucky to be alive. Oh, wow. Okay, so he just burned to death. That was a great shot by the uh, half-track mortar. Which can, you can use a flame ability, by the way, if you have this. Uh, so how's, Ner how's uh, Nerd doing? Nerd has quite a few guys. He has a panther up here trying to hold these guys back. Took out his engine. A sniper. Oh, a sniper would be great taking out these guys. Just slowly picking them off while they're dealing with that tank. Alright, how's everyone else doing? Uh, let's see. Kevin. What's Kevin's doing? Okay, he's bringing a Panzer IV. He also has an Ostwin. Great against infantry. Very good against infantry. But, uh, let's see. He has a bunch of MGs stationed all over the place. I guess he's just trying to fortify. Wow, more artillery. Yeah, I, I guess their idea was to just get a bunch of Katushkas and just artillery us out of our positions. That's one way, but as shown in a previous video, artillery... Yo, again, use it offensively, not defensively. That's This is how you use it offensively. Destroy our attack force and then move in. But see, they're not moving in. They're not. See, they just have a bunch of AT guns. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. They are using it to kill our attack force. But against armored units, a bot, a, a, the Katusha stri strikes aren't going to do that much. Now, if you go back to me, I wanted to at least turn their guns around. And as soon as I saw this through Fog of War, I was like, oh, no. All right, I have to get close. So my idea was to turn this around. See, they're turning all their AT guns and stuff around, which allows our troops to then move in. And also I call in this strike, which is gonna suppress them. With that, like this whole confusion, they're gonna have to retreat or because th their units are all out of whack. And they have no idea what this could be. So it could be a bombing run, it could be whatever. But it's pretty much gonna suppress their guys, keep them down, even their MGs, so. Our forces can then move in. What's going on over there? Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Nice flame. So they do have an anti-air gun, which might shoot my plane out of the sky. I think it's busy, so it's not firing. Wow, that's a large conscript squad moving in to help. Yeah, so every time we take this point, they send in more forces. This is where a lot of the battle took place, just for this one point. Oh my lord! That's a negative about... Guys, that is the negative about taking out the Air Force, because sometimes the enemy Air Force will take out you, even if you shoot it down. Wow, that sucked. That was a fuel point they lost, too. Was that fuel? Yeah, that was a fuel point. Oh wow, that was ter terrible, absolutely terrible. So they're just like conscript spamming. They're, they decapped this point still, just from numbers. But now they really have no AT. So our tanks can move in unharmed. Down the south, once again, this guy sent a giant infantry blob at me, but again, my MGs and whatnot just tore them apart. I also moved these guys down here, I'm gonna upgrade them for their Panzer Shreks. Yes, Panzer Shreks, not Panzer Fouls. Right now we're doing really good. We're pushing up. We have multiple tanks, and we're just hammering out their forces. They are bringing up their own armor and artillery forces to try to push us back. But hey, at least we have a foothold. Not really effective foothold, but hey, we're holding it. They bring in both both of these forces. Try a nice little flank attack. This guy moves in, not hits the Oswin, which is a bad sign. Oswin's now stuck. He's gonna it's gonna be hard for him to get out. Luckily my tank takes that thing out. But unfortunately they're moving out more AT. A lot more AT. Look at that, four AT guns in this section. So our tank's gonna have to fall back immediately. Luckily I took the shot for the Oswin, so hopefully they can get it out. I don't think they are, but if they can get that thing out, that would be really good for them. Come on, run! Run! Aw. Oh, telling my tank to now take the fire. Oh, wow, that's a nice flame. It's gonna burn his AT. Oh, wow, they're gonna move it? He doesn't even know, does he? 
Oh, he's barely made it out of there. Anyway, we're securing this point now. We're holding this. They do have some forces here just giving us trouble. We have an armored unit though. Hopefully they hold them back. I think this plane's gonna crash though. I think it does. I think it's gonna circle around and then hit here. They still have that Katushka here. All it's been doing is firing at my base. And look how much. It barely done anything. Where'd it crash? Oh, it crashed right here. Oh wow, that sucks. I really hope there wasn't a unit there. Yeah, in this in this game, there's a lot of planes going down. Okay, so he moved up these uh, he moved up these two Panzer fours. That's a great idea for a flank. But they have three, four. They have I think four AT guns, three plus the medium. So look, both of these things are just going to be taken out. That's 640 uh, manpower and over 200 fuel we used just lost. So yeah. I think this one's gonna crash, like right over here. Oh no. Anyway, planes are crashing all over this game, I'll say that. Oh well, that's a great shot. Oh boy, missed it by that much. So anyway, they're moving up, they're trying to take this point. They have succeeded until my tiger moves in. I sent it originally down south, but as you saw earlier, I haven't talked about it, I bring in my tiger, which is just going to wreck house. Do a Panzerfaust on him, knock out his engine, but that allows my tiger to come up, do a proper flanking maneuver, and just hit that thing with an 88mm gun. Yeah, right, this is a medium tank destroyer. I have a heavy tank, so it's not going to win. It is not going to win. Down south, they are pushing. Well, look at this. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, just look at that. That is absolutely... Like, you have to be an idiot to keep doing this. That's all he is. He just keeps sending infantry. I flank... Luckily, my teammate did a light artillery strike because he thought he would stay there longer, and I thought so too. Luckily, we're bringing in more forces here, trying to push them out, which is doing a really good job. They they have their AT guns, don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, really? I mean, like, two or three shots bounce at the beginning, so I'm just like, do you really think your low AT gun's going to hurt hurting me? Don't be wrong, two or three, yeah, they start, like, see, that bounce. They will start hurting. But hey, at least I pushed their forces back. Look, they have barely anything here. They're hiding. They are flanking. Don't get me wrong. They're doing a good. They're gonna do a good job. They're gonna bring up their anti-tank gun here and do a nice flanking position on my tank. That's the really the only way to take out Tiger through its sides and from behind. And it's even with any tank. But now it's gonna start doing damage. So now I'm just like, oh no, fall back. Anyway, down south, they do bring up this uh, tank destroyer, but I'm going to send a yeah. Panzer IV down to secure it. Yeah. And also going to upgrade these guys with the Panzer Shrex, finally, so I can help secure that. But yeah, they, they send a, finally sent a tank down here. Not even the correct tank. This is terrible against infantry. What you want is like a T-34 or something. I send my Pioneers to uh, go help secure some points. But, uh... He's also going to bring this thing in? I don't know why he brought it in. I really don't. He just brought it in. My MG is going to take it out. I think. Well, either that or the sniper is. My tiger's up here. It's going to die from the conscripts and the AT. Yeah, it's going to die from the AT. Nice artillery, by the way. But So the MG is just going to keep hitting this thing. I don't know what his plan was. Unfortunately, I did lose that MG. I couldn't retreat him. Well, I, when I went, finally realized I should retreat him, it didn't work. But this is now abandoned. This truck is now abandoned. I will steal it later, but it took me some time to realize it was there, just because of fog of war. I mean, don't worry, that sniper's there, but it went later when I actually have troops. And I'm, by the way, I'm focused right now on this guy down here. I don't even notice this thing. I'm also focused on the map, because right now it's just like, oh no, they have both command points. They're pushing hard against the fuel. 
with this thing. So right now it seems a lot worse than what, you know, it could be, but still, on my map is just like, okay, they're pressing on every front. They now secured this point, they're gonna they're start winning, they're hitting us down here. My guys up here, which were supposed to heal the tiger, that failed. At least I'm like, alright, let me at least hold this point. So I'm gonna use Panzer Shrek and I'm just gonna fire upon him and just at least take him out. Come on. Fire. There we go. Stuck in the water, stuck in the mud. Easily outdone. But look at this, they just have a ton of forces pressing against the center. They want that fuel. They want it, they want that bad. No, they want it bad. Luckily our teammates do have tigers. They are bringing those in. Oh, did, by the way, did that plane, yeah, that plane crashed over here as well, and it cr crashed, I think back here somewhere. Maybe here, but yeah. <laughs> they, more planes have crashed. Oh wait, will this one crash? No. All right, so what did everyone else have? Uh, Kevin has a tiger, which he has right here, along with his Oswin. Maybe that will take it out. No. And uh, Nerd has two Panthers. Where's that? Okay. So he's trying to secure that point. We're pretty much just bringing out a ton of armor and also bring out our own artillery to help counteract them. Anyway, uh... Oh, wow! Look at that! That's just like, what, the... I mean, uh, there was one up there, but that's like the third, fourth plane gone down already that I've seen. They're, they're losing a lot of planes. <laughs> the, the the Soviet Air Force is like, we've lost half a dozen planes in this area. Yeah, right, we're sending more. Anyway, so I sent my, my guys down here. I tried to flank. They do a good job, almost take out this thing. They didn't, but luckily this AT gun does take it out. My guys down here get hit by a Soviet strike and more infantry comes in. But luckily I do have a tank here. I do have my MG still covering and I will bring down my MG to help counter with that. Up north they still have long range artillery hitting our guys which is making it very hard for us to take this point. Luckily my three star guy right down here is doing an excellent job of trying to take out that MG. I thought this was, by the way, recon. It hits a terrific strike. So I'm like, oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's trying to kill me. Didn't even notice. At my base, I'm healing my guys. Gonna try it up for help them with the assault and take this point. As you can see back here, they have a ton of guys still anti air, uh, three AT guns, multiple infantry units, and multiple guys coming up. Along with uh, Katushka scattered, which is currently just hammering our guys up here. I had this tiger situated here just in case they sent this at me. I tried to capture this, it does not work out for me, so I retreat him. My tiger's up here, I then send him south, because, you know, Katusha strikes aren't going to do anything against me. With the amount of planes, by the way, they sent above me, I should have pro I should have probably, you know, set up some kind of, uh, a, a, like, got a, a panzer worth down there. And again, look, all my resources, this is still gone. I don't see this. So, before people say, how could you have not seen that? If you, if you truly want to know why, it's simply because I did not honestly see that. Because my units weren't there. I was busy on other things. Pioneers. Like getting troops down to the south to reinforce. I do send my Tiger down here, which is just going to, uh, you know, mess up with their infantry and hopefully make them retreat. But I, my also, I know they have this Katushka here. My goal is to run up here, mess their forces up here, and head, and head pretty much behind their line. Because right now we have a large tank force here, but they're having trouble with this AT. So my goal is to come around, that way our tanks can then move in while they're disorganized. So, judge for yourself how that goes. Anyway, I move my forces up. They're securing that point. Uh, uh, my Tiger is not securing it. My Tiger is at least destroying their fuel point. Um, I'll hopefully send guys later to secure it. Please let this thing fall again. No? Okay. Anyway, it's going to take out that fuel. They have another AT. Oh, wow. Is that a... Okay, that's not even a fuel point. That's a... Oh, wow. I didn't even know they built that. It's like you play this game, you go over it, and it's just... The stuff you find. Wow, that plane just utterly crashed into the line. Holy mackerel. 
that's like the, like, ladies and gentlemen, how many planes have crashed? I should put up a poll, like, as counter on the left, like, how many planes have crashed? I then moved my Tiger up. This thing got very, that thing, like, was very lucky I didn't see it. But anyway, my goal is to fuel point. Less fuel is better for us. If we look at their resources, they have 19. We have double that. We are doing excellent. They have more munitions, though. But, you know, we'll take that. They have nothing up there. Anyway, I'm down south. They have another uh, tank destroyer. But I'm going to use these guys to just take it out. Along with my pan newly healed Panzer IV. Easily take that thing out with a hit to the side. They're, sent, they're scrounging up whatever forces they can for a nice defensive line because they know we now have this entire northern sector. It might be under their control, but they have no forces to stop us. Except for this IS-2. They do bring up an IS-2. So, you know, they do have that. Um, once again, Ollie has this giant glob of infantry. They also have this sniper, which actually did take out a guy, I didn't even notice. But I'll get the MG back. But what else I took was I finally grabbed their Katushka. So yay, on that end. They're now firing long range. That Panzer IV is now pretty much outgunned. It does do a smoke, which is really smart. And they do artillery to keep their forces back. But, uh, yeah. They need some more tanks up in the north. Luckily, this Tiger and this Panzer is pushing in. So hopefully that will stop them. They do have a large amount of forces. I didn't even know they had this, by the way. I said that before, but that explains the constant artillery strikes on this base. I thought it was just their Katusha strikes, but no, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Um, anyway, so right now, this thing is going to be taken out by the Tiger, and they have this thing here, which is pretty much just going to own that uh, Panzerwerfer, which he, pro he probably just sent to take out this, not knowing about the two other tanks. Okay, I'm going to watch this. Okay. That's how you take out infantry, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you take out infantry. And that's how be that's that's an idiot. That's pretty much the dumb person on their team. Constantly coming down here. Oh, they did it this guy. I didn't know about him. But constantly sending guys down here. And then I'm just going to put up a defensive line. I have this guy because, you know, I'm going to push up shortly, but still, it was just ridiculous. I'm also saving up to get another uh, Tiger to help support the front line. Because as you can see here, they do have IS-2s. So, you're going to need a Tiger to at least face that, face that thing head on. Oh my god, that was his own unit. That guy just murdered his own unit. Wow, okay, so that sucks. At least he's stopping him from capturing it, but god damn. That is just, that is just terrible. They send some more units here, finally find that sniper, murder it. Send this guy down here, and I'll kill him. My tiger's finally up, move that up. They're sending in their last, I, they're sending an ISU to hold, find, maybe a counterattack, take the line. But unfortunately, oh, as you can see, they are still here. They're just being pushed back. Right now, I have a ton of points. Um, I have more than my entire team. Uh, again, because I may not be, be doing the best, like, on the front lines, but I'm at least hitting them strategically, knocking out a lot of units. Um, where's Ollie? Yeah, Ollie's doing terrible. But, I mean, I... But, yeah, I have... I, compared to Ned, I have a lot of kills as well, so I'm doing pretty good on my end. But the IS-2 has to retreat. They do a nice little counter, try to destroy it, but unfortunately, the Panther is going to easily take out the medium tank destroyer. Alright, now if you look, their forces are in a full retreat. Oh, that, yeah, that thing finally got blown up, which, thank God. Um, they're using artillery to try to hold us back, but that's not going to work. I'm finally sending forces to flank them, sending in Tigers, my MGs, whatnot. Sending in my MG, uh, my Tiger here to secure this. Uh, push up this way while my Panzer IV comes up this way, that way we can help both ends. Did a plane crash over here? I thought, sorry, I thought I saw something. Anyway, they're pushing up really well. Nothing can hold a Tiger advance. Not even this AT. Which is trying, but it's just bouncing. Most of the time. They do have this IS-2 here, which they're going to try to send out. But as you can see, we're getting really close to their front line with all those Tigers. And the Oswin, which will prevent any air support on there. What is that? Oh. More... 
Our light artillery strike on them. And, oh wow, they took out the Panzer IV. But two Tigers moving in versus IS-2. Those guys are still alive? Really? Huh. Thought they died. Anyway. Ton of guys moving up. They do like another artillery strike. It doesn't do anything against armor really. That's the thing. Oh wow, that was actually their hit. Okay, it did do something. I take it back. It did do something, but most of the time it does nothing. I do do a nice little bombing strike. Wait. Oh, I thought that was an it. <laughs> I thought that was enemy playing it, and I was just gonna say it. I do do in my own personal bombing strike to help them out, along with my uh, Katushka strike, help destroy their forces. Oh, crew knocked out with artillery completely destroying whatever defensive lines they have left so that way our forces can easily roll right in look at that tigers rolling through the front gate nothing blocking it nothing stopping it my tigers gonna come in as well they do have this off they do have a couple planes moving in but look at that they have nothing I'm a i also have my things here helping out But yeah, our forces are just completely destroying them. And we're just rolling right in. Look, we have one, two, three Tigers all moving in, along with a bunch of AT and normal manpower. They can't stop us. So I think I'll call this one the Bite of the Tiger. Wow, okay, we are just utterly destroying them. But anyway, that's the end of the game. I want to thank... Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, that was a loud MG. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I am going to have this after scoreboard credit, so... Hold on for one second, I'll show you that. Oh, yeah, I did have my tank here, did counter. They had an AT gun, which knocked it out. But hey, um, he had a... This guy, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, you know, bumper. Most, a lot of people don't use it. Coming in to help, along with my remaining troops coming for our under attack but you know our tanks here are pretty much doing the job but that was a very good game thank you for watching and stick around for the uh after credits or i'm sorry the after report hello everyone this is gray shot uh 117 to show you a little sneak peek at the end of the game now that was such an intense game i figure why not go over the statistics of the game so anyway my most valuable unit was my uh panzer IV, probably the one in the south either that or the one i lost in the um center star area but anyway it got 53 kills so i can't complain i did lose four of them but you know still pretty good uh, it took over 6,000 damage so it took almost equal to what it dished out and it still survived so you know give some cred uh anyway 53 kills still that's amazing uh unfortunately it'll husk my um what was it uh my pain Ma'am, those poor pioneers. But anyway, they did pretty good. I used their ability quite a few times on the bunkers and whatnot. But anyway, here's to show you how the game turned out. But uh, anyway, I, pretty much both teams did really well. Um, funny enough, again, the the AI and the human player did the exact amount, except it looks like the AI did a little bit more with captures. But you know, it seems that uh, Static did uh, a little bit more with damage dealt. But you know. It j I mean, they killed equal amount of units, so I guess that's saying something. Interesting enough that if they did nearly 20,000 worth of damage and my tank took 6,000, that is actually really funny. So this guy, throughout the entire game, did less damage than what this tank took. That's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, then you have Sol Via Solaris, and uh, he did pretty good. Uh, but against Zach was the best on their team, I guess, with damage. But I guess he got the more kills. On uh, my team, um, I did the best, at least with damage. So that's pretty good. Um, got most captures. Uh, if you if you typically look at my thing, I tend to try to go capture a lot of points. Even if I sacrifice some units. That's why if I lose a little bit more. But this game, I didn't really lose that many. Which I was surprised. Um, probably one of my better games. I've been trying to keep my... Uh, units alive more often, but hey, I'm just glad it finally worked. Um, the AI did pretty, I mean, it was okay. Um, Ned Star was amazing. Uh, he got a lot of units killed. And uh, Kevin was okay. You know, not everyone can get, like, again, 
nearly three times the amount. But, you know. Alright, so let's see the resources. So it seems like we built up. They, around the 24 minute mark, was that really at their peak, and then they started to go down. Um, pr probably the airstrikes and whatnot when the Germans were finally, like, when I finally got that bombing run, the, uh, fragmentation bomb that really re i mean like there's probably a point where orange like that drop right there is probably when i did my fragmentation bomb so uh interesting construction yeah uh let's see uh can i change that for maybe someone else yeah how did ned star do Oh, wow, okay, I capture a point, yeah, faster than he did. He built a mortar instead of great ears. Yeah, he went a lot more support and specials. I went a lot more just basic. He also built a scout car really quick, and yeah, okay. Anyway, that's about it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. But in their base, they are just, this is the main reason why I want to show. I didn't notice until the very goddamn end. Look at this. Look at that. That's one, two, three different artillery pieces. This is the those a 10.5 howitzer plus this thing. So this is how you do artillery. This is how you do artillery. I mean, that is just insane. Because you you'll, you're gonna see shortly what like what happens because oh cool. So I do my artillery 